keep tracks for gig wives up your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I've had so many eras of of, uh, of of you know albums and songs, and there are always new fans in those. And to them, that becomes old school. Like there's a, definitely a Rock in the Suburbs album mm. group, and that's what they know. <laughs> not the same you know it was based on uh, this sort of you know I've always got an arrangement in my head I wanted two drum sets in this one like kind of panned left and right mm -hmm. which is what's on the album like there are two drum sets and they're like all phasey and washy sounding I kind of like that and then there's the typical very typical chord change you hear in every pop song <laughs> damn near ever written which is <laughs> thought it needed a release there with some big ahs you know it's like well, let's just be very typical for yeah. a second I didn't expect everyone to start singing that three-part harmony when we um, started touring that I was touring just solo piano and, yeah. and uh, people started doing that on their own but the first night I recall it happening uh, in Illinois somewhere on tour I think it was Champaign Illinois people were pretty much singing the right parts which is kind of mind-blowing if you think about it. It's like three-part harmony and an audience decides to sing those three parts and everyone knows that someone's taking the other parts. It's bizarre to me. I don't know how that works. Some of that was because we'd just come out of that, well, we were very much in the middle of the whole 9-11 period, you know, uh, and there were, uh, everyone just kind of wanted to sing together. It was a real sing together kind of moment before everything got sort of get dark again. It was, there was a, there was a interesting, there was an interesting moment. There's always movies where there's like one big moment, mm. you know. People like that one big moment thing. Uh, that's not been been my experience. It's, it's never that doesn't happen. It's like you have a, a big moment, then you have another big moment, then you have another big moment. You can decide that the moment that was supposed to be big wasn't even big because you can change it, erase it mm. with another moment. So that's a that's just a real dramatic way of looking at life. And I thought it'd be nice, you know. Uh, it's never going to be a moment of truth for you While the world is watching All you need Yeah, I think that's a good... Uh, yeah, those lyrics hold up. Um, and, and that was written sort of between albums. I was putting uh, out EPs really quickly, one after another. And uh, that sort of got thrown away on an EP. I think it's kind of classic. Yeah. I'd like to hear, like... Uh, you know, a good singer like, you know, Stevie Wonder in the 60s or something sing that with a string section and everything would probably have been a hit. Yeah. It's like Legs Larry Smith under the piano <laughs> tap dancing. Yeah. unlikely phrase, you know, capable of anything. I tell you that when you're a kid, you know, you could do anything you put your mind to, but um, you kind of know you can't, you know, mm. like it doesn't take, you, you have, you know, be an idiot figure that, that you can't jump over the school, you know, and you can't, you know, you, you can't drive a car when you're four years old. Basically, if you're capable of doing anything, that's good and bad. Mm. That's the, that's the point, mm. is that it sounds like such a self, self-help sort of you're capable of anything. Yeah. But it's it's really no no you could do bad you could do bad things too. You're capable of all that. It takes a judgment out of life. It's your choice then, you know. I, I think I, I think I'll wake up this morning and not rob a bank. Hmm. You know, that's so I've accomplished something. The concept of the lyrics the lyrics for me are almost always kind of almost an afterthought. They're hmm. like, how do I punctuate this piece of music? And um and what can I pit against it? It takes some, some, um, it takes some, I don't want to use the word meditating, but it sort of is that. To me, it's sort of like just sitting on it until, until uh, the answer comes. There's always, there's always an answer. There's always something that it means. Usually it's something that I'm thinking about anyway. So mm -hmm. the music is, a, is you know, a, an abstract expression of, of where my mind's at. So I must have been thinking of that. Keep 
tracks for gay.